Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Ultra Mod. We are jumping in again. This time I'm going to go as Young Cuz because I haven't actually played this guy on YouTube before. He's a pretty interesting character. We've got Square Cuz here. Uh, but we've got regular Young Cuz we're going to play as. This guy's kind of interesting. He's kind of akin to Rebel, but not really. Um, find more HP chests, more dupes equals more ammo, and we can duplicate. Yeah, so it, it's kind of a little bit like Rebel, but not really. It's it's a little different, but we're going to give him a go and see what we can do as him. We start with a golden pistol. Basically here, we can lower our maximum HP in order to duplicate ourselves. It's pretty interesting because obviously the amount of power that you have like this is kind of insane. Um, it can do some really crazy stuff, and I'm kind of ready for that. I'm going to go with Exotic Fists here. Um, and yeah, so I, I probably only want to be doing like three dupes every area. As you can see, the ammo consumption is increased with each dupe. I, I think your dupes can die, although I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm going to guess they can. But as, as you can see, if I'm more HP chest, which is how we, uh, how we re-raise our max HP by the looks of things. Unfortunately, my little minions are having a mighty hard time of, uh, <laughs> of navigating as I am. But you can see the absolute power that this provides. It's really, really crazy how much stronger you can be like this. But the risk is is heavy. The risk is heavy. So it's it's not all sunshine and roses. Especially not when my minions are dying like this. Uh, Orbit, I think the Orbit is pretty good from what I remember. We can grab that. Um, and we'll go with Glass Arm Cannon, which is a little risky considering our max HP is already lowered, but I'm going to give it a go. We'll go with Puffy Cheeks here as well. I'm going to do two minions here. Yeah, this thing is very good. Unfortunately, I didn't quite shoot in time there. But you kind of get the, the general idea of this guy. We probably want to only be creating two minions per area because, for one... Health-wise, we don't want to be dying. In fact, Puff Shell would be a really good pickup here. And Rhino Skin and stuff. Um, but, oh my lord. Taking this guy out. Um, we'll go regular path here, I guess. So yeah, Rhino Skin's going to be pretty good for us here. Because it just gives us more ability to create minions. Um, but yeah, also, you, you, you kind of want to keep that ammo consumption under check. I, am, I do wish the minions were a bit more sticky. Like, couldn't get stuck on walls. I mean, they do seem to, like speed up to you once they get past the wall, but they seem to have a little bit of a hard time getting past the wall. With them, um, with melee weapons, he could be really good, actually. Yeah, look at that. That's insane. Like, a melee setup on this guy could be very, very lucrative. I do like the fact that when you go to the next stage, it doesn't heal you. Whoa, what the hell was that? Thing? Um, it doesn't fully heal you, um, so that it's really worthwhile to just create more minions again. But yeah, um... There's, like, new enemies in this area that I haven't seen before. Kind of like little jellyfish spawn, it seems like. I don't, don't really know what to call it. Is that a flame revolver? I guess if it is, we'll take that over what we've got going on right now. I'll take pause, and we'll take adrenaline fuel as well. Flame revolver is better than the one we have right now. I do like the inverted area over here. A little risky, but we can deal with it. Yeah, as you can see, at the minute... Our power level is um, unprecedented. We did get a toxic chest for going down here. Toxic assault rifle I'll take and I'll put some toxic on it as well. Why not? Let's do that, shall we? Um, gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Okay. Straight on through, I think. Straight on through. I should probably gra grab a crown just to unlock them. I never remember what these do in this area. Okay, they do lasers. It's cool. Right, now we really, really ought to grab Mood Swing because we're using Poison, and basically Poison without Mood Swing is just death. But I'm going to take this as well. I'm going to take Herming on that. What's this? Toxic Laser Rifle. I'll go with Toxic Laser Rifle. Why not? Um, do we have our car in here? Or did I miss it or destroy it? There's a good chance I just destroyed it, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, we'll just leave. Um... Tough Shell, as I said, pretty good one for us to grab here. Keeps our HP slightly higher. Okay, my minions are dying to my own poison. I don't like that. <laughs> the good thing about the laser uh, toxic rifle is that the laser's got such good range that we don't have to worry about, like, hitting ourselves by accident. We can just kind of shoot enemies from quite the distance. But yeah, Mood Swing is, is really, like, a necessity if we're going to keep with this toxic build, which, honestly, I'd like to do. The toxic weapons are fun. 
Um, Mood Swing, unfortunately, not yet available to us. Uh, I'll grab Fists. And we'll go with Bouncer as well on this thing. Why not? Uh, where, where did my other weapon go? Okay, no, there you go. It's cool. We're good, we're good. Um, yeah, I should take a crown at some point, but not yet. I'm just going to do two minions this time around. I don't think I need all of them. Whoa! Purple Dragon has a new intro graphic that looks awesome. There's a lot going on here. Took me a long time to kill him, too. We've got the chop gun. We've seen the chop gun before. The chop gun's pretty goddamn good. Yeah, you can see the ammo consumption is kind of crazy, but the power, the damage we're able to deal right now is unprecedented. It's very, very good. So I want to keep this going. But yeah, I'm really, really hoping for a little, little bit of mood swing, because poison plus mood swing nowadays is so much safer, and it's a lot of extra damage. It's very, very good. Um... It seems that I'm able to keep my minions alive throughout most areas, though, which is nice. Oh, I did just take damage there, so that was a bit stupid of me. Um, we'll go with Energy Brain, I think, here. Just because uh, we're using an Energy po Poison weapon, it seems like an interesting idea to pair that with Energy Brain. Energy Brain, I don't actually know how much of an increase of damage Energy Brain is. I reckon it's about 25%, but I don't actually know. So if anyone knows this exact of the increase that Energy Brain gives, I'd be interested to know. Because I always feel like it's a very big increase. Um, and it might be a pair weapon basis, to be fair. Um, I don't know if it's like a static amount of damage for every single weapon. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to find out. So let, let, let's this time, let's go and take a crown, shall we? Uh, we'll take Bouncer on this again. Nah, and we'll do Kraken. Kraken's more fun. Um, what's that? The Charge Power. Um, right. Come in here, and we'll take a look at what crown we might want to take here. Um, disable weapon mods for each weapon mod you gain plus one max HP. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea for us right now. I'm gonna do that. Even though I like my, uh, my weapon mods. It just means more ability to have minions, which is a lot of fun. But you can see the amount of damage we're doing. God damn it. Like, they did actually make an improvement recently, one of the updates that I'm really glad for, but it's still annoying, is that when you knock back an enemy, it can't be knocked back any further than the edges of the map that you're on, which I think is a really, really good benefit. Um, but even still, the knockback can be well annoying sometimes. What's this gun? The bomb launcher. That was a really, really stupid place to shoot, but there you go. Yeah, so now, now we can do three minions and still have six health remaining, which I think is pretty darn good. This is going to be an area that's actually a pretty massive pain for us. Because the areas are so small, we're going to lose some of our minions to our poison. I'm not... Yeah, I guess we've already lost two of our minions here. Any tight corridors with poison are just not, not good. I managed to hurt myself twice there somehow. I'm not quite sure how I did that. Minion, stay close to me. Stop getting so far away. I didn't realize I'd be fighting this guy already, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to die here because I was not prepared at all. Like I didn't clear an area. Yep. Okay, we're good, we're good. That, that actually went okay. Right, Seeker Shotgun. Let's uh, let's go in here and see what we end up having to uh, having to offer. Energy Brain, unfortunately. Big damage loss. Oh. Wow, we lost a lot of damage here, unfortunately. Um, we still didn't get our uh, beautiful uh, thingy. Extra ammo gained per duplicate is doubled. That's kind of useful. Um... Probably going to go for that, actually, yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately, we've lost quite a lot of our damage here. It shouldn't be so much that we're completely struggling. Oh, dude. The minions, like, basically, the minions are just a massive hitbox, so they're going to die quick. I didn't even think about that. In this area. Not going to be easy to keep them alive, unfortunately. Much as I'd love them to. 
This area is so well designed. Like, it's it's difficult, but in a really good way. It's different uh, than normal areas and normal parts of this game, but in a really good way. It's like, it, it, it's a really, really, like, smartly designed area. It's different enough and weird enough that it's, like, not normal for nuclear throne but it's not so out of the blue that it's going to completely throw you for a loop it's really like i said well designed battling bazooka uh there it is beautiful okay unfortunately it's it's actually not mood swings actually not going to do a whole hell of a lot for us here because the way that it works is when poison hits a wall it turns to bullets and in this area, there's no walls. So it's not the most advantageous right now, but if we make it out of this alive, which I'm hoping I will, but honestly, ooh, I'm not sure. Honestly, the good thing is that our minions are actually blocking a lot of shots that would have hit me. So that's quite nice. But yeah, I've unfortunately put myself in a difficult position here. I've not lost all my minions yet, but I'm about to. <laughs> There is, a, there is a hell of a lot going on right now. I'm, I'm kind of somewhat trapped here. Minion, get, get over here. Get cool. Don't die on me, fella. Don't know what I was hit by then. I wasn't paying attention, clearly. Ah, we're, we're all out of minions now, which is a real shame. And I don't... There's a big health chest anywhere that I can grab, which is not ideal. Ah, you bastard. Please give me health. Thank you. Yeah, please have a health chest up here I can utilize. I don't think I'm going to live through this boss, I'll, I'll be honest. Unfortunately, no health chest either. Super flat cannon, though. I'm going to take that over this. I just want to get something that can kill quick. I've lost some max HP here from being hit, apparently. I didn't know that was a part of this character. Right, let's see how this goes. With 4 HP, I'm not super confident, I'll be honest. Like, basically, if I get hit one time, I think I'm dead. Which, on this boss is... Yeah, basically... Okay, I did survive one hit. Okay, that was, that was remarkable. That went really, really well. Okay, good, good, good. I'm very happy now. Oh, I didn't even check what my Regal Vision did. I'm stupid. Uh, Regal Vision. Press F to turn your duplicates into Hacks Aimbot. Infinite Ammo and Ghosting. What? Press F to turn your duplicates into Hacks. Aimbot, Infinite Ammo, Ghosting. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm willing to try it out. How long do I turn my minions into... Okay. Not long is the answer. So I want to be doing it one minion at a time. I'm guessing the amount of minions I use scales with how long I get hacks for. But if it... Maybe not though, because that didn't seem like I had them for long. I'll be honest. Whoa, that's so fucking cool. I kind of want the claw. That's awesome. So, let me just see. Uh, okay, we got these. Uh, also, I didn't actually check. Let me quickly go and check what our um, what our secret ultra is, because I didn't actually check before this. One second. Okay, so for that, it's just having absorbing pause and plutonium hunger at the same time. But let's see what we got going on here. Shots fired by dupes don't cost ammo or rads. That's pretty amazing. Um... Create max four dupes. Um, dupes don't decrease your max HP. That's pretty good too. Dupes cost two HP instead of max HP. Portals heal. Um, and the first two hits you take in each level will be negated. I'm definitely going to go for this one. Oh, uh, we get this area as well. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Okay. What should we go for in here then? The claws... I don't know, the claw's pretty awesome. I like the claw, but let's see. Anything that's over tier 11 is probably something we want to consider. Blob cannon is pretty good. 
I think I've got pretty good weapons already is the thing. We don't have anything over tier 11 here either. I actually think I'm going to stick with what I've got, you know. I've got some really good stuff right now. Yeah, I'm going to stick with what I got, which is weird for this area, but there you go. Right. There's a swarm bomb, so we did get something over tier 11. Yeah, I'll give this a go. Swarm bomb. Seems fun. Especially with all these guys. I do wish they'd stick a bit closer to me, though. Goddamn. Oh, I have different HP when I'm using different weapons. I keep forgetting about that. Right. Try and stay safe here and get to loot. I like the swarm bomb. We got it. We got it. Come through here and get our second golden weapon. If we survive that, this that is. I think we will. The fact that our duplicates don't use ammo now is, is kind of incredible. Falls just so much more. How is this guy not dead yet? There you go. I feel like I've been smacking him. Good, good, good. Right. Hello? Oh, there you go. Whoa. What is going on this time around? All essence detected. <laughs> I like that. It's kind of cool. Can help each other. Let's do some trading, shall we? Unlock secondary starting weapon, yes please. And unlock more golden weapons, yes please. Still yet to find a micro weapon. It saddens me. It saddens me. There you go. Right, we're good to leave now, I think. It's pretty good. Oh god, the, the car's coming and I didn't think about that. Yeah, we still unfortunately don't have immunity to poisons, so we've still got to be wary of that. Straight on through, I think. This is already intense. Good thing about the swarm thing is it just, like, perms in on everything. It doesn't do a ton of damage. The swarm does do poison now, though, so it's some damage over time. sort of metallic sound when it hits things as well. It looks beautiful too. It just looks really nice when you're firing so many of them. Spader. Whoa! Shit me! Spader seems pretty awesome. I'm gonna go back through here again. As you can see, even though this thing's low level, it's just working really, really well for us right now. Bullet sword. Okay, please, little little shark boy, don't uh, don't mess up me. Don't mess up me health, please. Okay, he uh, he spawned underneath me and killed me. I didn't even know that was a possibility of happening. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. We got another bit of st stuff unlocked, and we got to see Young Cuz, which is always fun. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.